Hello, I'm Dr. Marianne Teitelbaum, and today we're going to talk about ghee, or clarified butter. Now, the Shirak Sanghita, the foremost Ayurvedic text, states in Sutra 27, verse 232, quote, Out of all the oils fit for human consumption, ghee is the best to eat, unquote. And let's see why they said that. First of all, ghee is clarified butter that has been used in India for thousands of years. And it's made from unsalted butter, simmered over a low heat until the water evaporates out, leaving behind the milk solids. These solids float to the top and they're skimmed off or strained out, leaving behind the clarified liquid fat known as ghee. Ghee is an excellent source of the fat-soluble vitamins, which are vitamins A, D, E, and K. And it's also loaded with many other vitamins, antioxidants, and healthy fats. Now this is very important. Ghee helps us to absorb nutrients into our cells. Here's how it works. Whatever food we eat can't help us at all until the food is broken down in our digestive tract into very small particles, which crosses through a very delicate cell membrane to gain entrance into our cells. Our cell membranes separate the inside of all the cells in our bodies from the outside environment, both protecting the cell and allowing nutrients to pass into the cell and toxic stuff to pass out of the cell. The cell membrane has been called the most important organelle for the cell because it's responsible for determining what goes in and out of the cell. You see, outside the cell are important nutrients that the cell needs to survive, but there's also a lot of dangerous acids and other compounds that are toxic to the cell that have to be kept out. So they have this very important job and serve as gatekeepers which allows some molecules to flow through, but not others. Now, the cell membrane is really flexible, which allows for rapidly growing and dividing cells, but at the same time, it's also a great barrier, allowing some things in to pass through while blocking out other things. So here's the important thing about ghee. All the cell membranes in our body are made of cholesterol, which gives the membranes a consistency kind of like that of a light oil. Fat-soluble molecules can pass through the membrane, which means that ghee actually becomes a tremendous vehicle to transport the nutrients we eat across this fatty cell wall. So that means the ghee actually slides the nutrients right on through into the inside of the cell. And in fact, ghee works so well at delivering nutrients into the cells. For thousands of years, it's been used in many of the Ayurvedic herbal formulas where they cook them into ghee and you consume it as a paste. It's always amazing to me how the ancient doctors knew to cook so many of the herbs into ghee formulas, even before we had microscopes to figure out why ghee would deliver these important nutrients into the insides of our cells. And by the way, this also means that cooking with ghee in your diet will enhance absorption of the nutrients from the foods you eat into your cells. Now, many people I see from India report to me that they no longer eat ghee because it contains cholesterol. Then they proceed to tell me they deep fry or use a high heat in cooking, and they cooked with oils like groundnut, peanut, mustard, sunflower, or canola oil. And then in the next breath, they tell me how they just had stents put in for their clogged arteries, even though they're vegetarian and there's nothing in their diet that would otherwise clog their arteries, except for these vegetable and seed oils. See, when you heat them, they form a plastic which clogs the arteries. They also form a poison which, when you swallow it, damages the liver because everything you swallow has to be processed immediately by the liver. So this gives rise to a lot of diabetes because India nowadays, we know, has one of the highest rates of diabetes in the world and a lot of people don't realize it comes from the liver. When you heat oils to a high temperature, they oxidize and they form really dangerous compounds. So everyone's now looking for an oil that has a high smoking point, which won't oxidize when heated to a high temperature, which is why everyone's switching to using avocado and coconut oil. But these oils are very heavy, waxy, cold, and hard to digest. And unless you live near the equator, where there's a lot of heat from the sun, providing you with a really strong digestifier, then you shouldn't eat these oils because they're kind of too heavy to digest. Now, ghee, on the other hand, is the easiest oil to digest and yet has the highest smoking point, 485 degrees of any oil. So here's the thing. 
Many patients are shocked to find out that when they eat ghee, their cholesterol actually goes down. And this happens because ghee contains high concentrations of monounsaturated omega-3s. These are beneficial fats that also keep the arteries clean and prevent heart attacks. In fact, the nutrients in ghee actually prevent any sticky plaque from attaching to the walls of the arteries in the first place. And you may have heard that ghee contains conjugated linoleic acid, which is known as CLA. CLA helps to burn fat and build muscle mass, which is why many people lose weight when they include ghee in their diets. This is also why bodybuilders take CLA tablets, but CLA supplements don't provide the same benefits as CLA from food because they're the synthetic version made in the lab and therefore lacking nature's healing vibration, which is called prana. Even modern medicine has proven this point. Research studies show that synthetic version of CLA has a different mixture of isomers than what naturally occurs from getting the real thing from food, thus providing much less of a benefit. And make sure your ghee is from grass-fed cows, since this will contain higher amounts of CLA as well as other beneficial fats. CLA also prevents inflammation in the artery walls, hardening of the arteries, both of which can cause heart attacks. And one of the things ghee is most famous for is that it contains butyric acid, also known as butyrate. So what is butyrate and why is it so important and why is everyone talking about it? Well, it plays this huge role in the health of our gut microbiome. And the gut lining is basically two layers. It's a mucus layer with friendly bacteria growing in it. This thick, gloopy mucus layer is made by the goblet cells, which are embedded in our gut wall. And these goblet cells are programmed to make mucus 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's important to have a very thick layer of mucus to prevent pathogens from going through. And this is known as a mucus barrier and it's basically a shield that cannot be penetrated by pathogens. There are specialized friendly bacteria which make butyric acid, and it's this butyrate which tells our goblet cells to keep pumping out the mucus. Now, unfortunately, we can't make butyrate ourselves, but we have to rely on our friendly gut bacteria to do it for us. And these friendly bacteria use fiber to make butyrate, which in turn pumps out goblet cells to make mucus. If the mucus layer were to get too thinned out or dried out, cracks can begin to appear where the pathogens can leak through. And antibiotics deplete both the goblet cells and the friendly bacteria, which can predispose the gut to infection and inflammation. Now, butyrate's only found in a few foods, and you've probably guessed it, one of them is ghee. It's also found in butter and raw milk, but ghee contains more butyric acid than any other food. Now the gut also consists of very tight junctions that hold together the colonocytes, which are the cells of the intestines. And butyrate works on our gut lining to keep these tight junctions intact so that large molecules of food don't escape, which could cause the immune system to attack and create food allergies, inflammation, or even an autoimmune condition. Loosening of these tight junctions is known as leaky gut, which is now rampant in our society. And eating ghee in the diet is an excellent way of healing the leaky gut. So now you can see how important butyrate is and why eating ghee keeps the lining of the gut intact so the friendly bacteria can grow, keeps the mucus layer nice and thick, and also keeps the tight junctions intact. And as we speak, there's lots of studies being done to examine the benefits of butyrate in treating inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And so far, the results look really promising. And again, it's always been amazing to me how so many times the ancient doctors predicted many things that we're now able to verify through modern research. Thousands of years ago, they declared that women would become highly fertile and children will be very intelligent if they ate ghee. And this turned out to be true. The female hormones which make you fertile are made out of cholesterol, and ghee provides this highly absorbable and nourishing form of cholesterol to crank up a woman's hormones. 
and the brain uses cholesterol to function, which is why it makes our children highly intelligent when they eat it in their diets. Through the years, I've helped so many women conceive babies who were infertile and were avoiding whole milk and ghee in their diets, mainly because they were told that cholesterol clogs the arteries, so they were eating a low-fat diet. But when we switched them back to ghee and warm milk, their, friendly, their fertility shot right back up. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with ghee, you can either make it yourself from unsalted butter or you could buy it. If you make it, use grass-fed cow's butter, melt the butter, let it come to a slow simmer, and skim off the dairy solids as they rise to the top. After about a half hour, depending on how much butter you're using, you'll notice that you can see through the butter that it becomes clear and it makes this crackling sound. And at this point, you can strain it through cheesecloth into a Pyrex bowl or jar and keep it at room temperature. Now there's a second, more complicated way to make ghee, but this ghee has even more health benefits than regular ghee, which is already amazingly good for you. And this is known as cultured ghee. It's considered a divine ghee and it's made by taking heavy cream, adding a yogurt culture to it overnight, turning it into yogurt, cooling it down for a day in the refrigerator, and then churning it into butter, then making ghee from that cultured butter. This ghee is much easier to digest than regular ghee, which is already easy to digest, since the friendly bacteria in the yogurt cultures break those fats down into even smaller particles for better absorption into the cells. And this ghee has twice the amount of CLA than regular ghee. You can use ghee the same way you use butter. Saute spices and vegetables with it. Use it on tops of vegetables and grains. And you can bake with it also because it can withstand the high temperatures of baking. I hope that you decide to incorporate ghee into your diet to keep your gut healthy, your arteries clean, to keep your weight down, and to keep your brain intact into old age. I always feel like it's a shame that more people don't know about the amazing health benefits of ghee. Try to think of it as one of nature's gifts to us and probably one of the most important foods in your diet. Thank you.